Well, friends and family are rallying to help a Bemidji firefighter. Reporter Emma Hudziak has that story. Dennis Leary once said, once you have a firefighter in your family, your family and the families from his crew become one big extended family. This stays true for the family of Walter Lindahl. Uh, Walter and I's relationship started uh, in 2009-2010. Um, I was working as a career firefighter with the city of Bemidji, and Walter applied here as a paid-on-call firefighter. Um, what he did it for is one, he loves giving back to his community, um, but for health reasons. He wanted to get in better shape um, and you know, do what he could to make Bemidji a better city. So um, as our relationship evolved, um, we started doing some fitness things together, working out together. Um, and one of the most notable things we did together was uh, fight for air climb in 2010 at Accenture Tower in Minneapolis. Fire Chief Justin Sherwood shares that in early April, the Bemidji Fire Department had responded to a bridge fire in downtown Bemidji. As they were fighting that fire, Walter was given an assignment. As Walter headed out towards the bridge, Sherwood saw him fall down to his knees and he instantly knew something was wrong. Days later, Lindell was diagnosed with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. You know, shortly thereafter, he was in Fargo uh, and diagnosed with this disease and um, virtually almost killed him. And he survived it and found himself now doctoring at Mayo, ultimately needing a double lung transplant. Now, uh, the fire at the bridge didn't cause his injury, um, but a series of fires over his career may have contributed to it. But in the end, we are where we're at, and he needs a double lung transplant, and we're asking our community to reach out and help one of its heroes. From what I've heard about Walter is that he is not just a great family man, but he is also a great person with a big heart. He is a type of person who will drop everything to help people. He is a giver. He is a hero of many kinds. Um, and he's just an overall great person. And it's hard to see him in this condition. You know, an active young man um, who is very, very strong, now kind of taken down by such a disease, um, but I know he's going to fight through this. There will be a benefit held in honor of Walter this coming Sunday on October 3rd from 2 to 7 at the Eagles Club in Bemidji. Visitors can expect a pulled pork sandwich dinner, bake sale, silent auction, raffle drawing, cornhole tournament, and more. So we're having this fundraiser because the medical cost, once, once he's able to get on the transplant list and get a transplant, he'll have to be living down in Rochester um, for the next six months after that. Um, lots of traveling back and forth, lots of hotel stays. So we're doing anything we can to just help support them. While friends and family of Lindell patiently wait for healing, this event is a great opportunity for people to come and show their love and support. Reporting in Bemidji, Emma Hudziak, Lakeland News. If anyone would like more information on this event, they can visit Walter Lindahl's Benefit Facebook page for more details. Cash donations can also be made and can be dropped off at Riverwood Bank. The name under the account is Walter Lindahl's Benefit. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.